I'm going to start off with a few uh, introductory uh, remarks. Um, and um, I just wanted to, uh, and I'm sure that this audience really needs no introduction to the major problem that we are facing, not only in this country, but uh, in many parts of the world, uh, with uh, this kind of what people are now calling a dual epidemic of obesity and uh, diabetes. And I put up this one slide, which just uh, actually has a few of the current statistics on it. Um, first of all, it's now estimated that 65 percent or two thirds of adult Americans are overweight. If we use as a definition of overweight, a body mass index of, of greater than 25 and 21 percent are obese. Uh, uh, if we use an index of a body mass index of greater than 30. So there's no question that we are an obese society. Uh, Twenty four percent of adults would meet the ATP3 criteria for metabolic syndrome, uh, this clustering of central obesity, uh, elevated blood pressure, high triglyceride, low HDL cholesterol, and abnormal glucose metabolism. A very, very high risk population for developing diabetes and for developing cardiovascular disease. It's now estimated that there are about 21 million people in the U.S. who have diabetes. And, of course, 90 to 95 percent are type 2. And there are even more who have impaired glucose tolerance. Uh, that number is very difficult to come by, but I've seen estimates as high as 40 million people in the U.S. with impaired glucose tolerance uh, who are at very high risk for progressing on to develop uh, type 2 diabetes. To me, a very frightening statistic, the estimate that the lifetime risk of developing diabetes for people born in the year 2000, so that's the six-year-old kids running around now, is 33% for men, 39% for women, and for Hispanic women, a particularly high-risk group, it's as high as 50% lifetime risk of developing diabetes. And we all know that in this uh, population, cardiovascular disease is a major cause of mortality. Uh, cardiovascular disease, including uh, m fatal and non-fatal myocardial infarction and stroke, for example, uh, is uh, the uh, uh, accounts for maybe uh, uh, 70 uh, to 80 percent of uh, total mortality uh, in our diabetic population. So it is the major cause. <clears throat> 